What's up, it's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness. Once again, time to do it with Hewitt. I'm actually just finishing up uh, another minimalist workout of the week. It's gonna be a quick video this time. I just uh, decided to pick it up in the last set here. Realized I didn't get, uh, get a video out for this week. And uh, I'm doing uh, deadlifts, uh, rows, cable rows, and uh, bench press. And I haven't done barbell bench in a long time because it used to bother my shoulders. Been sticking with incline, dumbbells, uh, strap push-ups, dips. But uh, I'm gonna try it out today. I'm gonna go a little lighter and see if I can reintroduce it. Shoulders have been feeling pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, get into the workout on the last set here. This is uh, set number four. Gonna go into it and do the drop set right after and uh, hook you guys up with another quick minimalist workout that you can throw in, full body workout. It takes me like 20, 25 minutes max. Uh, I'm also gonna be using the Flexilate straps for the rows. I love these for really targeting the lats, getting the grip out of the equation a little bit. Anyway, enough jibba jabba, let's get out of. So I'm moving on here to the last set of the deadlift, lifting those fake weights, using those big ass Olympic weights because, hey, it makes it look uh, deceptively more heavy than it actually is, right? So I'm finishing off here with as many repetitions as I can, getting to a point of momentary muscular failure. Really, I look at when I start to lose form, I feel I'm losing my technique. I don't grind it out anymore for those last crappy repetitions. And then I'm drop setting to a relatively lightweight and cranking out a uh, very high repetition drop set here. Going for that lactic acid burnout, getting a pump. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy here is the goal. Making sure I fatigued all of those muscle fibers. Now I'm moving over to the seated cable row and I'm using the Flexilate straps here. Uh, these are basically grip-free straps, so require minimum engagement of my grip. I find they really help me focus on engaging the lats and rhomboids, removing grip from the equation, at least to the point where your, your grip is not gonna be the limiting factor. And again, once I hit fatigue, I'm drop setting the weight again to about half of what I was working with. And Matt jumps in here for a quick spot unexpectedly. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Uh, and now we're moving on to the final exercise, last set of the chest press. And uh, this is a little bit lighter than what I probably could have done, I found, but it wasn't until my third set that it started feeling okay and the shoulders took a bit of warming up. And I may start to reintroduce the uh, barbell chest press into my routine. Uh, I didn't feel too bad today. And a quick Hello. drop set here. Just checking if I was even. I tend to favor one side when I'm using uh, the barbell versus dumbbells. And again, pumping it out until I reach a state of momentary muscular failure and a very high repetition drop set as well. If you liked the video, give it a like. I'll be posting another workout of the week next week. Make sure you subscribe for more. And until next time, stay strong.